Good morning, this is Rose Picard. This is Godly Play for Sunday, April 25th. On the third Sunday in the season of Easter, we remember how one night it was dark in Jerusalem when the disciples gathered in a room with the door shut. They were afraid that the soldiers would come and take them like they had taken Jesus. Someone said, peace be with you. They looked and it was he. At first they thought it was a ghost, but then he talked with them. They saw his wounds. He ate a piece of fish and opened the scriptures as he had on the road to Emmaus. Finally, he said again, peace be with you. And he was gone. Thomas had been away that night. When they told him this the next day, what had happened, he didn't believe them. He had doubt in his bones. I won't believe it until I can touch his wounds. And why wouldn't he have some doubt? Their minds were stretching, stretching to be big enough to know Jesus in this new way. Eight days passed. The disciples again gathered in the room with the door shut. This time, Thomas was there, though. A voice again said, Peace be with you. It was he, and this time he went right up to Thomas and held out his hand. Touch me. All Thomas could do was fall on his knees, my Lord and my God. Jesus looked at him a long time. Do you believe because you have seen? He then slowly looked around the whole circle and said, Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Good morning. This is Rose Picard. This is Godly Play for Sunday, April 25th. 